Hello everyone and welcome back to Something Forever Nerd. Today on the channel we got more nerdy nostalgia in Muppet Treasure Island, this time Disc 3. The finale of Muppet Treasure Island. Sadly, yes, this is a very short series. Um, but yeah, so today, uh, or sorry, let's back up a bit. Last time, we Disc 1. We met Billy Bones, heard about Treasure Island, got the map from him, escaped a band of pirates, uh, made it to Bristol, Got some new clothes, played some tunes, got some money, got a ship, sailed on the seas with Captain Smollett and the crew. Captain Smollett had us do several chores on disc two, which was fire the cannon, weigh the anchor, load the jolly boat, build your own model ship, help Captain Silver in the galley, um, and look at the night sky with him and Captain and, and uh, Long John Silver. After that, uh, we woke up in the morning to hear Long John plotting uh, to steal the treasure for himself and mutiny the crew or mutiny the ship so when we went to go tell Smollett uh, on our way down to you know just on our way back uh, Silver grabbed us and kidnapped us and took us with him so that Smollett can't maroon him on Treasure Island so yeah let's begin oops wrong button there we go And as far as through narrative, we were talking about the Sunday of Colossal Con. When I got to meet Ray Chase. Now, that was a fine ride, wasn't it, mates? Warriors. We'll be needing that company as soon as we're done studying the map to Treasure Island. I thought I told those guys to take care of the band. Hmm. Okay, mates. Let's see what stories this map can tell us. <laughs> Alright, give me one second, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Sorry, had to go take care of something real quick. Alright, so, let's drop some coconuts. Alright. Letter from Flint. Right, Hawkins. After all, you're surrounded by a pack of bloodthirsty pirates. And you're not wrong. <laughs> I kill myself, which isn't hard to do, considering I'm six leagues under and pushing up seaweed. <laughs> you ever make it to the island of Live Hawkins, you'll find the treasure locked deep inside a cave. You'll need all four rocks to get inside. And one more thing beware the one legged man. Silver and gold don't mix. Fergus. He's got a point. All right. Um. Let's see if we can find that stone. You go now. Me not need another vacuum cleaner. But I got to show you what this one does. Anything else?
I actually don't remember him being in this game before now. In Swedish Chef is probably my favorite, uh... Queen Benjamina say you good dresser? Me gave it office. Okay, so you're not gonna easily give up the last stone. Anything? Nope. Alright, hey, on we go. Boys. They're getting away with the compass. Oh. Whew, that was close, yeah. I say we make some space between us and those pirates. I've got a better idea. What? While Hawkins hunts for the treasure, we can create a diversion. A diversion? Sure, just like in the movies. We try to distract the pirates by running away real fast. Ooh, running away I can handle. Let's go. Okay. See you later, Hawkins. Good luck finding the treasure. Yeah, ciao. Thanks, guys. Alright. So, that's the cave that we gotta get to, but we can't until we get all four stones, which we still need. Yeah. Okay, so they're not gonna do anything different. Um Okay. Beware the man with one leg and no heart. No bones about it. He'll stree up for pleasure and treasure. Skeletons! Captain Flint! He done me in. One of his own crew. Oh. <laughs> Flinty done him in. Great sense of humor. <laughs> Don't look for the silver lining in Long John. You won't find it. Alright. Oh, that looks like Flint's handiwork. I think I'll be moving on. Hmm. All that glitters ain't gold. Lessons of a misspent life. Flint's folly was his lust for gold. Find the real treasure. I'm going mad hanging around here. How about a little pen for an old sailor? There you go. Uh, anyways, uh, so Sunday of Colossicon. Uh, how do I get back? There we go. Quiet! Queen comes soon. So while that's going on, um, so Sunday of Colossicon, uh, I went to the King Hearts panel, uh, that Mika Burton was hosting. It was mostly just a history of the entire franchise, uh, clearing up some plot points for new people, old people, uh, making jokes. Bonsoir, uh, I was gonna say, was that it? Greetings! Moi and Benjamin Dunn! Nice to meet you. You? Benjamina? Leave Moi standing at the altar, huh? Hi! <laughs> Take him to my hut! Oh, boy. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! You found all four rocks, Hawkins. East, west, north, and south. Use these rocks at the treasure's mouth. Har! I'm ready for the Dead Poet Society! Me thanks. Oh, it's society. All right, is this message any different? I hear that, Hawkins? It's the sound of me coffin creaking under your feet. If you don't want to join me, listen close. You need more than rocks to unlock the door to the cave. 
North, south, east, and west. Direct the coins to find the chest. Good luck, Hawkins. This will be the last we be talking. Unless your greed for gold brings you down here to David Jones' locker. <laughs> and remember, mate, all that glitters ain't gold. Uh... Is a run. What do you think I'm doing? Throwing a Tupperware party? <laughs> Dated reference. Alright, so let's go back. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, I found him. I found Hawkins. Uh, anyways, uh, really quickly before I go to the next area. So, uh, Sunday of the convention, uh, went to Mika Burton's panel, that was cool. Then immediately got in line to meet, uh, Ray Chase, but due to a confusion in how the room was set up, uh, basically they ended up having it be, uh, because both, both celebrities, are, or both voice actors were going to be in the room anyways, but they had, uh, Ray Chase and Max Middleton, uh, or Mittelman, um, uh, Max Mittelman, who voiced Lushu, so I had a picture anyways because I wasn't sure if I was going to meet him or not, but, uh, and it's hard to see in this kind of, because it turned out darker, I should have bumped up the brightness, but it's a picture of Lushu holding the uh, keyblade that will become Master Xehanort's. Um, let's take a quick second here. Hang on. I can see you've got all the four rocks, Hawkins. So listen close. North, south, east, and west. Arrange the rocks to find the chests. Anyways, so uh, I kind of welcomed him into the franchise. I was like, welcome to the franchise. I thought you were fantastic as Lushu, and I can't wait to see where your character's going to go. Uh, so he signed the photo to Noah. What's in the box? Question mark, question mark, question mark underlined mayor harpy our guiding key and signed it his uh max middleman or middleman and uh lushu so that was that was cool um then went over to meet ray chase let me arrange these rocks really quickly um and i had a mug that i was using throughout the convention um, that said world's best mom, and then I used permanent marker to well done, put abbreviations in there to so make it M O M, Master of Masters. To enter me treasure cave. You need to move the gold doubloons into the center square. Oh, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't think that through. Crap. No. <laughs> you did it, Hawkins. You are a smart one. Enter the cave at your own risk. But remember, all that glitters ain't gold. gold. All that all glitters, that glitters ain't, gold. ain't gold. All that all glitters, glitters ain't gold. gold. All that glitters ain't gold. <laughs> And then, uh, so I had this mug that I was using for the cosplay, um, and I decided to give it to him as a way to welcome him into the franchise as well. He was super excited to hit him, Max Middleman, and, uh, basically all the handlers, uh, were super stoked that I was cosplaying the Master of Masters, and they all liked my, my robe as it was. Um... And Ray Chase was freaking out. He was like, oh my gosh, you're actually a proper master of masters. He took the book and he was like, you've even got a book. And and I had a face mask and he's like, and you've got a face mask. So you're, you're actually a proper master of masters. I was like, yep, I, I built this cosplay to meet you and, and, and I thought it would be fun because you're effectively our franchise's answer to Deadpool. So yeah. Um, so I had him sign a lovely picture of the Master Masters. He wrote to Noah Mayor Harpy, your guiding key. Signed it, his, signed it Ray Chase and Mom down below. Um, and we took our picture together. It was great. Uh, we did two pictures, one with the mask, one without the mask. Um, then he noticed my book and um, kind of was flipping through it. 
and said, oh, well, these are all a bunch of blank pages. And I was like, yeah, you know, I was kind of just going to, like, write some Kingdom Hearts stuff in there, like notes or, you know, uh, recipes for different Keyblades or whatever that, you know, I might need when I'm playing Kingdom Hearts or whatever. And uh, he opens the book, looks over to his stash of markers, uh, and quickly signs it. Because uh, the way the way Colossal Con works is uh, you can only have one personal item signed um, unless you go through the line again or if you've got a friend that you can pass off an item to. Um, so he saw my book and he grabbed it real quick, signed it, Ray Chase, Mom, Secret Signature. <laughs> so uh, that, that was really, really cool that he did that. So uh, I know you're probably not going to see this, but if for whatever reason you're seeing this, Ray Chase, thank you again so much for that. You were, it was incredible meeting you. So, uh, and then that wrapped up the convention experience. After that, we left and came home. Wait, the treasure! We're rich, we're filthy rich! Hawkins, what luck! Hi, guys! Funny bumping into you around riches. And the best part is the pirates are nowhere to be found. You and your big mouth! Let's do this. Oh, it's empty. Whoa, huh? How much do you think that's worth in Bristol? <laughs> oh, nothing. And lots of it. <laughs> empty. Wonder what that's all about. Try it. Okay. Let's go for the top. Empty. Not a blooming red scent. Can you believe it? We've been cheated. Another empty chest? This isn't looking good. Keep trying. Let's try one in the middle. Blimey, it's empty. I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> They're all empty. Fast, boys. The treasure's been moved. Let's go. We don't need Hawkins or that rusted compass no more. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Friendly looking skeletons. All that glitters isn't gold. That all. That all? Glitters. Okay. Gold isn't. That. All right. All that glitters isn't gold. There we go. All that glitters isn't gold. <laughs> you did it, Hawkins! Greetings, Okoro. You must be the person of style my lady's been waiting for all this while. Here's a message from my lady. Earrings are such dear things. Match them well from shell to shell. Bon chance, mes amis. Thank you. Okay, nope. Let's try it again. Nope. Let's try another one. Nope. It's probably gonna be the last one. Nope, I was absolutely wrong. Oh, sapphires. That was down there. Oh, 
Was it just finding the diamonds? Angry with you. I always knew you'd come the past, you had to get all of it. Uh, well, speaking of rescue, Mina, I really need to go rescue my friends and crew. Oh my. Alright, let's load this treasure. The treasure which can magically move itself. We got gold! One for you, right. one for me. Two for you, one, two for me. Three for you, one, two, three for me. All I fight, get your slimy fins off of that! That's my... Private reserve. You go fight pirates. I go sleep. <laughs> well, there we go. Good. Hey, don't. Yeah. That was easy. Alright. We've got the gold. Pirates are defeated with coconuts. Excellent, Hawkins. It seems you've set a clear course for our journey home. The pirates are captured, we've got the treasure, and the wind is on the rise. Great job, sailor. Hoist the mainsail! Check the rigging! Untie the first mate! All hands mm. on deck! Climb aboard when you're ready, my friend. We'll be waiting for you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Mm -hmm. All right, let's load up the gold. The secret chest. And I would play some of these, but I do not want a copyright strike from Disney. But if you have the ability to find or get this game on your own, uh, basically they're just different scenes from the movie. I would also highly recommend seeing the movie. It's a good movie if you haven't seen it. Or if it's been a while, dust it off, play it again. Alright, let's board the ship. Thanks, Benjamina. Hey, mate. <laughs> Sorry for starting you. I couldn't let you go without saying goodbye. I reserved a little for myself, so don't you worry about me. But you, you found the real treasure here, mate. Your friends. Sail with good friends like these, and you'll travel as far as your dreams can take you. So, say goodbye to your old friend, John. I have a feeling we'll be meeting again. See you, mate! Mm, welcome aboard, Cabin Mate Hawkins. That was some very unsafe activity out there. Good work. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Arrow. And thanks to you too, Hawkins. Without you thank at you. the helm, we could have never made it this far. Now, raise the anchor and sound the cannon. Our voyage home has begun! Yay! Yay! You heard the captain. Fire the cannon! Woohoo! When the course is laid and the anchor's weighed, sailors, sailors blood begins racing. With our hearts unbound and our flags unfurled, we're on the way and off to see the world. On the way and off to see the world. Hey ho, we'll go anywhere the wind is blowing. And man on the Sailing for adventure on the big blue sea. 
But, um, yeah. So, this was Muppet Treasure Island, the computer game from 1996 by Activision. And margaritas at the midnight buffet. Margaritas at the midnight buffet. Hey ho, we'll go anywhere the wind is blowing. I love this song. It's the best song in the whole soundtrack. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this adventure with me. I love playing this game. I love this movie. Um, gosh, I'm so excited for the future of Nerdy Nostalgia because it's, like, gonna be all the games that I absolutely love. And hopefully I can get Tom and anyone else associated with the channel to do one of theirs because that would just make Nerdy Nostalgia more fun. Um, but yeah. We're all celebrating on the big blue sea. Um, and like low key, I want Disney, Disney theatrical publications wait, 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 to make. Don't click on that mouse, please. The credits aren't over yet. These people happen to be friends of mine, and they deserve to have their names seen. Except I'm not gonna click person. it. I never met him before in my life. Besides, I still have lots of pirate jokes left. Heck, have you heard the one about the produce salesman who sold corn grown by a pirate? No. He sold the corn for a buck an ear. Get it? Oh, buck God. an ear? Buck an ear? Ah, waka waka. I hope they run out of credit soon. I hope the bear runs out of material soon. Don't worry, I got a million of them. Ah, uh, that's what we were afraid of. Wrap it up, Fozzie. The credits are almost over. Aw, can't you add a few more credits? Fozzie! Make up some names if you have to. I'm sure all those names and movie credits aren't all real. Come to think of it, what is a Foley? And why does someone operate it? And, and why is it always Best Boy? Just once, I'd like to see Best Bear. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like, I'd, I'd like to see Nerdy Nostalgia be something that's more than just my series, um, so, uh, yeah, I think the game's gonna close out on itself here. Yeah, it did. Alright, so I'm just gonna go full screen. So, um, yeah, so, because the next one I had planned for Nerdy Nostalgia, and I can kind of give you a sneak peek um the only other one that i have downloaded is treasure galaxy um i'd like to play that at some point because i've been trying to track down that game for years trying to remember what it was now that i finally have i think i can safely play it and uh you know enjoy it once again uh because i lost all the discs that i had in several moves uh, well, I say several, I mean two, but, um, yeah, um, there's other games I'd like to play as well, um, some other PC adventure games based off of, uh, film titles. Basically, that's always been my video game motif, or not motif, but, like, um, those have always been my favorite video games, like, video games based off of films. Um, I don't know why, because... Not a lot of them are great, um, but I don't know. It's just how, how I roll. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, so more nerdy nostalgia in the future to come. Uh, it's still going to be a rare rare series um, with, you know, without any specific regularity, but this will be uploaded on a, uh, uh, a weekly basis starting... Yeah, let's say July. This sounds this seems like a good game for July. So yeah. Um Although I you know, it really doesn't make sense uploading it in July and having a majority of this been talking about Colossal Con. So we'll see how, how it ends up. But uh for now, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, let us know. Like and comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already while you're at it. Check out the rest of our content, my content, Tom's content. Hopefully by now we'll have made an announcement. Uh, about our third member. Uh, so yeah, if we haven't, 
that's still coming and on the way. But um, yeah, until next time, I will see you nerds later. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.